Section twelve of Amoretti by Edmund Spencer. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Leonard Wilson. Sonnets thirty four, thirty five, and thirty six. Sonnet thirty four. Like a ship that through the ocean wide, by conduct of some star, doth make her way, when as a storm hath dimmed her trusty guide, out of her course doth wander far astray. So I, whose star that wont with her bright ray me to direct, with clouds is overcast, do wander now in darkness and dismay, through hidden perils round about me plast. Yet hope I well that when this storm is past, my halo say, the lodestar of my life, will shine again and look on me at last with lovely light to clear my cloudy grief till then i wander careful comfortless in secret sorrow and sad pensiveness sonnet thirty five my hungry eyes through greedy covetise still to behold the object of their pain with no contentment can themselves suffice but having pine and having not complain for lacking it they cannot life sustain and having it they gaze on it the more in their amazement like narcissus vain whose eyes him starved so plenty makes me poor yet are mine eyes so filled with the store of that fair sight that nothing else they brook but loathe the things which they did like before and can no more endure on them to look all this world's glory seemeth vain to me and all their shows but shadows saving she Sonnet thirty six. Tell me when shall these weary woes have end, or shall their ruthless torment never cease, but all my days in pining languor spend without hope of assuagement or release? Is there no means for me to purchase peace, or make agreement with her thrilling eyes, but that their cruelty doth still increase? and daily more augment my miseries but when ye have showed all extremities then think how little glory ye have gained by slaying him whose life though ye despise mote have your life in honour long maintained but by his death which some perhaps will moan ye shall condemned be of many a one End of section 12 of Amoretti by Edmund Spencer. Recording by Leonard Wilson of Springfield, Ohio.